Well, Bruce, St. Mary's University is involved in a unique cross-border collaboration with the RCMP in Louisiana State University, and it could just change the way police investigate missing persons cases. With more, here's CTV's Peter Millette. So the next point is going to be just underneath your lip. Tanya Peckman teaches forensic anthropology at St. Mary's University in Halifax. Her expertise is bone anatomy. Peckman and her students are involved in a unique research project involving Aboriginal Canadians. It's definitely groundbreaking research. It's unique, um, and it's unique not only because of the population that's involved, but also because of the relationship between the scientists and the, and the community. With a portable ultrasound machine, Peckman plans to travel to maritime First Nations communities and eventually across Canada, measuring the skin density of natives. Let's do glabella, which is the point in between the two eyebrows. It's, it's not only an academic exercise, the data that Peckman and her students compile will be turned over to the RCMP. It will help forensic investigators with cases involving facial reconstruction, age progression, and composite sketches. With Dr. Peckman's data, uh, we as forensic artists will be able to get a better uh, likeness of an individual, whether it be through a sketch or through uh, facial reconstruction. To now, there has been plenty of this type of data collected. The problem is, it's all been from white European populations. What makes Dr. Peckman's research here at St. Mary's University so groundbreaking is that she's focusing only on Canadian Aboriginal communities. The two youngest individuals that have ever been measured were 10 months old and two and a half years old from the member two community. And that's really important because there are no data for younger individuals. And it's just as possible for a young child to go missing as it is for an adult. So this becomes really valuable data. The black region right here is the gel on the wand. The gray is the depth of the skin. And the nice bright white region is the bone. Mikkel Harris is a fourth year anthropology student. He says with so much interest in shows like CSI, he tried to resist enrolling in anthropology, but simply couldn't. And he says experience like this is invaluable. Being able to say that I've worked on such groundbreaking research will definitely help me a long way. Facial reconstruction is not an exact science, nor is forensic anthropology for the faint-hearted. But Tanya Peckman says the work is extremely rewarding. Unfortunately, with, with my line of work, when I'm called in, the person is deceased, and that's the sad part. But the rewarding part is that I'm able to allow the families to have some information about what happened to their family members. Although they've passed on, I can provide them with the answers that they need to be able to reach closure. Peckman is now hoping her research can help a culture of Canadians, she says, are so often forgotten.